41% of men aged between 18 to 24, 30% of women uh, of the same age agree that, it, that they are totally or partially to blame uh, with their attire that they wear on their night out. And I'm surprised at that, that many women. Are you? I mean, whatever you wear and whatever you do and how much you drink, nobody's entitled to rape you. What you drink isn't a crime, what you wear isn't a crime. I think what we have to be clear about, and I think this is what the statistics are obviously nodding to, is that blame is a difficult word, word is that, that, that one kind of um, releases a level of personal responsibility. If you put yourself in a situation where that element of vulnerability might be heightened, it might only be heightened by a tiny bit, but by the same, by the same degree, I don't leave my back door open because there's a chance somebody will break in. I don't leave a car, a, a phone on the seat. Um, I'm just using this as an analogy to say that we, I don't let my kids play out in the street when it's getting dark. Not because I don't have a right to live in a free society where the back door should be allowed to be left open, but if I'm, if I'm in any way increasing that level of, of vulnerability, then I would like to remove myself from that. And that's why where women are concerned... But you're making the, making the, the, the women... To blame here. I didn't use the word blame. I said they are lowering their le they are raising their level of but vulnerability. It makes it sound so like you're saying it's their it's if, a, in part it's their fault. If you you have to look at the place you're in, what you wear, and how much you drink. Nobody invites rape. I mean, there are women that get raped lamentably, terribly every day, who look perfectly ordinary. We, we heard recently about the sad passing of, of Jill Seawood. She mm. was in a vicarage. If somebody is an opportunist with monstrous intent they will rape anybody but if there's a chance that level of vulnerability is raised even the slightest by being dressed in a sexually provocative way then why take the risk i am so so first of this. all we just really need some facts around this because this is where it's so erroneous and that is why we have surveys where people say this sort of stuff because it's not based on any facts or any evidence 90 percent of people who are victims of rape or sexual assault in this country are raped by people who know them so that could be their husband quite possibly a boyfriend an ex-boyfriend a colleague so therefore it is entirely irrelevant what they're wearing. If the fact that it was uh, what people wear was, was going to increase their chances, why aren't there like dozens of rapes on beaches everywhere where women are wearing bikinis? Now look at Holly and I are both wearing quite short skirts today. Have we intentionally increased our vulnerability? Well I, I knew, knew that was coming. But what is the question isn't it? Okay, what about the 10% that don't know who they are? What about oh, the what 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 10%? A lot of them, we have what elderly people, we have people Absolutely. wearing... Absolutely. What about the one woman? What about the one woman the w every one single rape is, is one rape of a crime. one second so what, one... what what one person sees as sexually provocative isn't what the other person will see Absolutely. for example around this table let's say we all agreed on this short skirt thing what would be a short skirt to exactly. you say what would be a short skirt to well, you, you and where's, look the line? where's the rape line on you my skirt just okay. out of interest well, well no okay you have uh, and i preface my comments by saying look at location as well we're in a very benign situation we're in a, we're in a weekday studio full of busy people i could walk in in a lemon leather course it if I wanted to and would feel safe in all seriousness. I wouldn't wear that with a tiny skirt walking down a dark street at night. But then and I've had a tank full of but, but, also, but, but also a very important part here that I think we have to take um, sexual attraction away from rape. The key driver of rape is its power, its humiliation, its degradation. That's why people, elderly ladies, young girls, people across the spectrum get raped, get sexually abused. It's got very little to do with sex when you look at the statistics. That's the fact. Well, let me, uh, let me just read out the, the, the publication of these results. Fawcett Society Chief Executive. I mean, this is their analysis that mm. we're discussing now. It says, I can think of no other crime where we're so ready to blame the victim. But here, women are being held responsible for the behaviour of their attacker. It's quite extraordinary and reveals just how deep-seated our readiness to blame women runs within our culture. This resonated with the young women we spoke to who told us about the lad culture they experience on a daily basis and the way they have to manage the situation if they are approached in a bar, for example. Just saying the word no can escalate to violence. Yeah, I mean, that is the concern about this report. That's why it is an interesting report. We should look at it because those, those uh, uh, feelings do run clearly. And as women get older, when you look at the statistics, women are more likely to blame people for putting themselves in those positions. So we need to work out, OK, why are people still feeling like this when it doesn't marry up to the facts? And that is because we've still got this terrible attitude towards women and shame and sex it's and women should be shame. shamed. It's but not it's shame. It's not making people feel ashamed to say the way they Alison. look is no, no. making them I think, more likely to be raped. No, it is a dereliction of our duty 
as, as women to say, no, I am sorry, it is a dereliction of your duty to not say, make yourself safer. We are not shouldn't in we just be, Shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? Be, shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? Hang on a second. Let's, let's talk. Should, wouldn't it be better to be educating our young boys uh, into the, the fact that... They're not you know, mutually that... exclusive. The or two also... things are not mutually exclusive. Educate the boys, but by the same token, say to women, there are some revolting people out there who, when opportunity and inclination collide, may carry out some, terrible there some things. Crim there are some criminals that, out there, there are criminals out there, who, with very little to do with sex, will use any opportunity to rape any woman of any age wearing any clothes if they should wish. That's true, but if a woman is, and is not, dressed in a certain way true. and they're, not, and they're only not, borderline if thinking you can about bring that... Me, uh, somebody who works in rape or somebody in the police who will back up that, I'll believe it, but I don't think you will. OK, if you have, do you have a daughter? Would you let your daughter, daughter... OK, so would you let your daughter go out on a Saturday night yes. with, a, with a leather skirt practically round her waist, drink as much as you like and not say to her, if you're not in a safe environment with loads of friends or you're not in a situation where you can stay in control... Yes. You I've also got your... wearing, though. Pardon? A safe environment is different to what you're wearing in the same that's, way well, you wouldn't necessarily down an alley on your own or you wouldn't... That's why I said it's a collision of circumstances. I said it's location. It's not to do with it's sex. It's what you drink and it's what you're wearing. It's not to do and with how sexually attractive, attractive you are. It's not about sex. Okay. 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 All you're okay. doing by doing this is for women out there who are watching this who have been raped or have been sexually assaulted, all you are doing is making them feel worse this morning no, I'm not. that they were partially responsible for what happened I am telling the women who have not been raped to think about how to make themselves safer you and cannot. to tell themselves, take personal responsibility. It's, you are not to blame. That are committing the rape. You are not They're to the blame. Need the I said that at the beginning, Alison. You are not to blame, but you are not invincible. Okay. So be careful. Thanks for watching. Click here for more this morning videos.